Oscar goes to Sam Rockwell, Tim Robbins, Kate Brinkman, Christoph Box, Mahershala Ali. It is an honor for us to be here to pay tribute to the nominees for actor in a supporting role. Sterling, I know yours has been a long journey to get to this night. I can relate. And I'm so, so happy that you're finally being recognized by your peers. Uh, your performance in American fiction is extraordinary and transformative and I am in awe. The magic you bring on screen, it's outmatched only that by the magic of who you are as a person. There are actors. And then there are actors who don't drop character until the DVD commentary. <laughs> I'm talking about Robert Downey Jr. That dude. <laughs> Susan's husband. He could be Iron Man, he could be every man. He always goes above and beyond. 30 years ago, as chaplain, he learned how to play the violin left-handed. Who does that? Seriously. It's obnoxious. And now in Oppenheimer, he steals scenes from Albert Einstein and the atomic bomb. I love him. You love him. We couldn't be happier for his third Oscar nom for his amazing portrayal as Louis Strauss. In the course of his brilliant career, Robert De Niro has steamed... <laughs> has teamed with Martin Scorsese to bring us a wide range of uniquely complicated villains. His latest performance in Killers of the Flower Moon delivers a different type of evil, not of a mobster or a psychotic loner, but of a businessman consumed by greed and his lust for power. Mr. De Niro, in an Oscar-winning, uh, Oscar-worthy performance, gives us, <laughs> should be winning. <laughs> gives us a reminder of the heart of darkness within our ancestral blood. Congratulations to an acting legend. It's not really new that certain male behavior looks like the inferiority complex of a plastic doll in a cardboard box. But it's something easy to ridicule. So why then do we admire Ryan Gosling's Ken so much? Because Ryan's portrayal of Ken allows us to, yeah, I admit it, to connect. <laughs> No, not because it's ridiculous, but because it is funny, intelligent, hugely entertaining, and ultimately poignant and deserving of empathy. To experience all that is exactly what we go to the movies for. Mark Ruffalo. Over three decades, you've captivated us with your versatility from drama to comedy to action. You've defied categorization, and we wouldn't have it any other way. Your appetite for challenges is unmatched, exemplified by your portrayal of Duncan Wedderbird in Poor Things, which has rightfully earned you this nomination. And beyond your talent, Mark, you're simply a wonderful human being. Thank you.
And the Oscar goes to... Robert Downey Jr. This is the first Oscar win for Robert Downey Jr. and his third nomination. Thank you, thank you. Uh, thanks, Sam. Thanks, fellas. That's amazing. You only flubbed one line. <laughs> I'd like to thank my terrible childhood <laughs> and the Academy in that order. I'd like to thank my I'm a veterinarian. I meant wife, uh, Susan Downey over there. She found me a snarling rescue pet, and you love me back to life. That's why I'm here. Thank you. Um, here's my little secret. I needed this job more than it needed me. Chris knew it. Emma made sure that she surrounded me with one of the great casts and crews of all time, Emily, Killian, Matt Damon, Blunt, it was fantastic, and I, I stand here before you a better man because of it. You know, what we do is meaningful, and the stuff that we decide to make is important. Um, so, back to my publicist. Uh, <laughs> my agent, Philip Raskin, is here, and Andrew Dunlap, my uh, den mother, uh, Joy Feely, thank you very much. I'm gonna thank my stylist, in case no one else does. <laughs> Thanks, Erica, thank you very much. Um, and I'm just gonna, uh, say this. Um, my entertainment lawyer, Tom Hansen, of 40 years, the half of which he spent trying to get me insured and <laughs> bailing me out of the Hooskow. Thanks, bro. Um, Avery X in Indio, this one's for you. <laughs> 